hello hello if you are in year one or if you are in year two hello welcome back to your music lesson for this week hope you are all doing really really well and you've had a lovely week you're having a lovely week so far so last week for our first week of music we started to talk about an orchestra now an orchestra is a group of musicians that's lots of people that play lots and lots of different instruments but an orchestra brings all of these musicians together to play music as a group all together and the instruments in the orchestra are divided into four different families. Can we remember those families? Ooh, ooh, thinking what were those four different families? Could perhaps one of them be the strings? I think so. So we have the string family, we have the, the woodwind family, good, really good. And also the third one is the brass family. And then finally we have the percussion family. So at the moment we're really, really focusing on the brass family. Last week we looked at the French horn. Today we're gonna look at a new instrument in the brass family. And that is the trumpet. So here it is, this is the trumpet instrument part of the brass family. So have a little think, looking at this and then thinking back to last week when we saw our French horn. In what ways are they the same? In what ways are they different? First of all, we're gonna have a little look at the color. Now the French horn was a goldy color as well and so is the trumpet remember we said the french horn it's not made of gold but it's made of brass which is a type of metal so this trumpet is also gold it's also made of brass if we take this bit off right at the top can you remember what this was all called we saw one on our french horn last week we put it in our mouths so it's called the mouthpiece Brilliant. So the trumpet also has a mouthpiece. It's a little bit of a different shape to the French horn mouthpiece and it's actually a little bit heavier as well than the French horn mouthpiece. But just like our French horn, we put our mouthpiece back into the top of our trumpet. Next, we're gonna come onto these three little buttons. Can we remember we saw three little buttons a little bit like this on our French horn last week? Can we remember they were called the valves? Good, really, really good. So the trumpet, just like the French horn, also has three valves. They're a they look a little bit different than the ones on the French horn, but we still have three valves on our trumpet like our French horn. Now you will also see this little part on the end of our trumpet. This is the part where the sound comes out of. You will remember we also saw one of these on our French horn last week. This bit, can anybody remember what this bit's called? It was called the bell. But you will see the difference between the bell on this trumpet and the bell on our French horn is that when we play our trumpet the sound comes straight out of the end but with our French horn we held it a little bit lower so the bell was facing a little bit more down towards the ground. Just like the French horn we also need both of our hands to play the trumpet so once I put my mouthpiece into the top I will put my left hand around here and it should fit comfortably there into our finger. Then we use our other hand for our three valves. So we put our three fingers on top of those valves and our little finger round here. And then when we are ready, it should make a sound a little bit like this. <laughs> So lots of you will have heard 
there that just like the French horn, the trumpet can play really forte and really piano. Remembering our music words, that means that the trumpet can play really, really loud and really, really quiet. Another thing that really, really often in an orchestra altogether, lots of the trumpets will play always at the same time. And this in music is called tutti. That means that all of the trumpets are playing all together at the same time. If we think back last week to our French horn, lots of you might have heard that the trumpet has quite a clearer sound. Lots of people say that the trumpet is quite glistening and twinkly, but the French horn is a little bit more gentle. It's a little bit more mellow. So well done to those of you who listened out and thought that the trumpet sounded much, much clearer. I would definitely agree with you there. Now we've learned a little bit about our second instrument in the brass family, the trumpet. Are we ready to learn a song? I hope so. Today we're going to be learning the trumpet song. <laughs> Now, do you think you can all do that? I definitely think you can. So we're going to go line by line. I'm going to say, and then I'd like you to copy back. So the first part's easy. It is three toots. Toot, toot, toot. Think you can have a go? Toot, toot, toot. I think you can do a little bit better than that. Let's do that one one more time. Toot, toot, toot. Lovely, so much better that time. The next bit is, I'm playing on my trumpet. Have a go. I'm playing on my trumpet. Lovely, nice and jolly, which is exactly what we need for this song. So we've got toot, toot, toot. I'm playing on my trumpet. Have a go. Brilliant. The next bit. Toot, toot, toot. It makes a lovely sound. Toot, toot, toot. It makes a lovely sound. Good. Let's now try putting all of those four lines together. So I'm going to go first. Toot, toot, toot. I'm playing on my trumpet. Toot, toot, toot. It makes a lovely sound. You have a go. Stuff. Now the next bit is really, really similar. So just remember, I'm going to go first and you're going to copy. We have got toot, 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 toot. I'm playing on my trumpet. I'm playing on my trumpet. Really good. Come and hear my trumpet sound. Have a go. Really, really good. Let's have a go at that little last bit one more time. So we've got toot, toot, toot. I'm playing on my trumpet. Toot, toot, toot. I'm playing on my trumpet. Good. And then come and hear my trumpet sound. Come and hear my trumpet sound. Really good work today, everyone. We're going to put that with the music now. Try and see if you can fit in all of those words 
to listening with the piano this time and see how the tune really sounds as well. Do your absolute best, I know you all will, to try and fit those words in, but you're gonna sing it with me, we're gonna do it all together. So, are we ready? We're gonna go after four. One, two, three, four. And I really, really hoped you enjoyed learning about the trumpet in our brass family today. And as a very special treat, we have got another teacher from our wonderful Preludes team, Ollie, who's going to be playing some wonderful trumpet music for us to listen to as we finish our lesson today. So thank you very much to Ollie. Thank you very much to you. I hope you will have a wonderful rest of your day, a wonderful rest of your week, and we will see you next time. Take care. Thanks very much. Bye.